between the Fanatics and Brooklyn Tune Corner. And today we'll be talking about the fantastic year of 1934. It was during the Golden Age of Animation, which started all the way back in 1928 after the success of Steamboat Willie. After Steamboat Willie, other cartoon studios were adding sound to their cartoons, and some of them were actually trying to make their own version of Mickey Mouse. You had Milton Mouse from the Van Buren studio and Foxy from Warner Brothers, for example. During the year 1934, a toon star was born, and his name is Donald Duck. Donald was created by Walt Disney and his team of animators at the Walt Disney Studio. And Donald's first cartoon was a Silly Symphonies cartoon called The Wise Little Hen. Later on, Donald would appear in a wide variety of cartoons, movies, TV shows, comics, and video games. Another thing that Disney did during that year is that they have actually teamed up with MGM to create a live-action animated movie called Hollywood Party. It was mostly a live-action movie that would feature stars like Jimmy Durant, Ted Healy, Laurel and Hardy, and the Three Stooges, aka Mo Larry and Curly. However, what made Hollywood Party a live-action animated movie is the scene where Jimmy Durant interacts with Mickey Mouse. The interaction between Jimmy and Mickey was small compared to films like Mary Poppins and Who Frames Roger Rabbit, but that scene is one of the film's big highlights. During the year 1934, the Hayes office changed animation history by introducing the production code of 1934. What it was is that it was basically a set of strict guidelines that filmmakers had to follow and they would know what they can and can't do in film. How it affects the cartoons is that there were certain gags that cartoons uh, were no longer allowed to do because they were considered inappropriate uh, according to uh, the production code. In fact, it heavily affected uh, the Betty Boop cartoons. So instead of Betty going on surreal adventures with Bimbo the Dog and Coco the Clown, she is living in the suburbs where she is taking care of her dog named Pudgy. And the question of the day is... <clears throat> what event from 1934 were you amazed by? Just let me know in the comments section down below. Feel free to leave the requests, and I'll see you next time in Tune Corner.